Just look at that old thing. You know, some night she's gonna die right in the middle of dinner. You think a woman like that would go to a home or something? I think she'd want to. Her tray's on the steam table. I'll pick it up. Good evening, Mrs. Manahan. You're looking good tonight. What you say? I said you're looking good. Well, I'm not feeling good. The food in this dining room gives me indigestion. And I must say the service has become inferior. You have been neglecting me lately. And after I gave you my lovely brooch... Oh, dry up. What did you say? I said I'm sorry, Mrs. Manaheim. I try to do my best. girl giving you a hard time. I don't know what's come over. She used to be so sweet. Four months we've been waiting. I'm fed up. Honey. Well, you're sick of waiting, too. You're getting to hate the old bag. Hate? I'm very fond of Mrs. Manaheim. Oh, don't give me that. You're getting to hate her more and more every day. I can see it in your face. You don't talk about her the way you used to. She's taken much too long to die. I don't know what you're talking about. What makes you think she won't live to be 100? She's so sick. Then why ain't she dead? Arthur! Why not help her along a little, honey? Don't you see how easy it'd be? And it wouldn't even be wrong. Oh, think how the poor old lady's suffering, sick the way she is. She'd welcome a little peace. And you could give it to her. It'd be a snap. I'm not listening. Nobody'd ever know. I'd help you. I'd show you how. Stop it. We could do it with the food. <laughs> She'd never notice a sick old lady like that. Her taste buds all shot. You just put a little bit of something in her tea, night after night, until... You're crazy. You're talking absolutely crazy. Sure, sure. Only listen to what I'm saying. Now, there's plenty of stuff around. I'll figure a way how to get it. And every night, you'll just put a little bit in her tea. Now, that'd be easy for you, wouldn't it? Poor sick old lady. You know, they got a name for this. It'd be what they call a mercy killing. And as soon as it happens, we could get married, doll. Suppose tomorrow I go out and get a little something, huh? What do you say? All right, Arthur. We'll do it like you say. Jitters? No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm perfectly okay. Uh, I just wanted to ask if you'd mind taking Wednesday off instead of Saturday. One of the other girls... Wednesday? Said... Yeah, sure, that's fine. Oh. There you are. Your toast is hot. Your egg's just the way you like them. And here's the milk for your tea. I'm not a bit hungry. I should have stayed in bed. Whenever you feel like that, why don't you just go right ahead and do it? I'll bring the tray up to your room. Since you did get dressed, I think you ought to eat something, don't you? Here, try some tea. Yes. I always like my tea. Tastes good. For goodness sake. Why are you staring at me, child? Go away. Sorry, Miss Manaheim. I, I didn't mean. Marion, about Wednesday, I've been thinking. I, I don't need either Wednesday or Saturday off. Are you crazy? There's no time and a half overtime on this job. That's okay. I, I want to stay close to Mrs. Manaheim. She she don't look so good. You're crazy, all right. You're kind of nice, too. Are you being taken care of, Mrs. Manning? Oh, yes. Thelma has a real knack for her work. But don't tell her I said so. 
A little discipline is good for girls. I've never seen you with a hat before, Mrs. Manaheim. Going someplace? Yes. I'm going to die. But not tonight. Tonight I'm going to live. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to treat myself to a lump of sugar. is good. We've had her on the stuff for almost half a year. She's had enough to knock off a whole battalion of top sergeants. I've done everything you told me. Don't work. I'm so dog tired. Well, don't she even look worse? Uh, sick to her stomach? Nothing like that? I haven't noticed any difference. She's always been sick and old. Well, keep giving her the same amount. Can't start taking chances now. Honey, I'm telling you, I can't keep this up. I gotta stop. What? I gotta stop. What are you doing? Taking back my picture. You chicken out on me, I'm pulling out on you. Honey, don't. Don't. Don't leave me. I I'll do anything you say. Well? I I'll give the stuff if you want me to. Manheim with your tray. Have your eggs and your toast. I have no appetite. Then drink your tea. Always like your tea. Yes. You are a sweet girl, Ted. When you want to be. You didn't bring me the milk. Oh, gosh, I forgot. Come on, Mrs. Manaheim, just this once. Try and drink it straight. But I don't like tea without milk. Couldn't you get me some? Mrs. Manaheim, if I went down to the kitchen to get you some milk, th the tea'd be cold by the time I got back. I'd have to make some more tea. Why couldn't you do that? Yes, I could, but I got other things to do. Come on, now, drink your tea. But I can't. I simply can't. I always had milk with my tea. You know how it is, a habit like that. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know how it is. I've never had everything I wanted. Do you understand that? Can you understand that? Why, Thelma? I've had to work for what I wanted. I've been working all my life. Do you think I'm a waitress because, because I like it? Do you think the restaurant's my home? Do you think I like greasy kitchens and, and dirty dishes and complaining old women? I must ask you not to speak to me like that. I'll speak to you any way I like. You are a rude, naughty girl. You are not at all the person I thought you were. I'm afraid I'm going to have to change my will. Don't you touch that phone! No! No, you stop that. Let go of my hand, you horrid child. I'm not a child. I'm 38 years old. <laughs> Mrs. Manaheim. Mrs. Manaheim! Well, you gentlemen agreed. We find that the deceased, Sarah Manaheim, met her death due to unnatural causes. We recommend that Thelma Tompkins be taken into custody and held for trial on such charges as may be preferred against her. This jury stands adjourned.
Thank you, Dr. Lacey. You know, Mrs. Mannerheim was such a grand old lady, it's a shame she had to go that way. Yes. The only consolation is she wouldn't have lived long in any case. Had a bad heart. I'd been giving her anatine. Anatine? It's usually thought of as a poison. But in small doses, it's a specific for a condition like hers. Funny thing, I had an idea she distrusted medicine, didn't take the stuff. Actually, anatine was the only thing keeping her alive. The only thing keeping her alive. Anatine was the only thing keeping her alive. Keeping her alive.